Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So this is our second video on test rigor. You must have seen the first video on test rigor, the basic introduction, how exactly uh, test rigor works. And then we can directly write the manual test cases here and then it will automatically execute the test cases. And you don't need to write any single line of code in test rigor. The way you write manual test cases in your Excel sheet or quality center or Zira, exactly same way you have to write inside a test trigger and test trigger will automatically execute your manual test cases through automation. So let's proceed further and today we will write our first script that how to write the script, what are the different things that we have to follow. So just open app.testrigger.com login page. You can just go to login and then I'm going to login. When you go to login, it will give you the complete uh, test suite page. You can see that I have created many test suites over here. You can create a new folder also. And under this particular folder, you can just create n number of test suites. And in one single test suite, you can have multiple test cases as well. You can just see the documentation and sample test support question answer. And then you can just simply go to your profile, change password, log out, everything also you can do that. For example, let's see, this is a new folder that I have created. I'm going to rename it. So I'm going to rename with this. This is my, for example, test rigor uh, tutorials. This is what I have created. And under that, I'm going to create a test suite name. So let's see, we are going to write our first application. For example, let's say I'm going to write a simple login uh, page test that we are going to write. We are going to perform with the desktop web application whatever the url for example let's say i'm going to take this url you just simply go to demoopencard.com and uh, this is the application so let me just log out we will start from the login page okay so this is the starting point of this application and uh, i'm just going to enter the url here username password i'm not writing it operating system you can prefer windows operating system os also mac os and the ubuntu and uh, in the free version they have enabled only ubuntu i'm already having the paid version so i'm using windows and os x also i can use it but right now it really doesn't matter just select any operating system for example ubuntu i'm selecting which browser chrome and then auto discovery test you want to generate no i don't want to generate any be created by the test trigger so so what exactly test trigger will do test trigger will identify your page and it will create some test cases for you in advance. So I don't want to do that. I want to create my own test cases. Click on create test suite. When you click on it here, you can see this is a test suite login page test is written and it will perform some basic testing. Initially, you just cancel this particular testing simple cancel task. Okay. And now you can see that here multiple options are available in the upcoming chapter. We will see that how to see the reports and everything test data management settings, various other types of other features also we will see that later on. But let's write the first test case over here. How will you write it? Simple click on add custom test case. And then you can give a nice uh, description. I'm going to write this is my application. This is my demo open card login page test that let's say I'm going to write. And here you can start writing your steps. So let's see the first step that I'm going to write if you see this application we have to enter the username password. So you have to enter the username under this particular field email address. So exactly same label you can pick and then you can write start writing that enter. What is the username? The username that I have already created, for example, let's see, this is my uh, test rigor at the rate uh, gmail.com. That is what I have created actually. So see test rigor Naveen at the rate gmail.com. So I'll be using mm, same username. And then where exactly you want to write So simple write in and then you have to write double quotes. So your test data and whatever the web element name that you are writing, it should be written within double quotes. So this is my email address field. So here you can see this email address field is there exactly same thing you write in the double quotes here. Now exactly same thing I'm going to write for the password. So for the password is what for the password is the password here. So I'll say, okay, fine, enter. See such a plain English sentence that I'm writing. So I'll be writing enter. Uh, what is the password? The password is test trigger one, two, three actually is the password. So test trigger one, two, three, you can create your own username password. And then in the password field, that's it. You can write field also. You can write text field also. I'm writing only password. That's it. Okay. And then after that, what you have to do after that, I have to click on login button. 
So you can simply write that click on what on login. If you really want to write button, you can write that as well, or you can write simple click on login also. Then after that, once I log in, because I have to verify what also, right? What if login is successfully done or not? I have to verify that. So I click on login. And then after clicking on login, I want to validate a couple of things. First of all, that I want to validate that logout is there or not, right? So I'll do one thing. I simply check, uh, check that page contains. This is what you have to write. Page contains what? The page contains logout, right? So this is what I have to validate. Second thing is that now I really want to validate that it's having its header like this, your store. So I'll quickly check. I'll write that, uh, check that page contains your store and any important strings or labels or any text that I really want to verify, you can verify that. So see this now I'm writing that it's having, for example, let's see my account and then my orders, my affiliate account and the newsletter. So I'll write that, okay, yeah, it's having my account. So I'm checking this newsletter. And if you really want to verify some important links, let's say I really want to verify that view your order history. This also contains or not. So I can simply write one more thing. Check that page contains what it contains. View your order history as well. Right. And then for logout, I have already returned. So let's see this is actually working or not right so this is a simple test that i have written see such a nice plain english steps that i have written just like we do it in the manual testing click on add and run so here now you can see the test got started and then it will generate one a screenshot automatically here you can see it's in queue and you can just click on this arrow down and here it will start the test in some time so let's wait for a few seconds and let's see so here now you can see the test got started it will pick the screenshot for each and every step and I'll show you the step also one by one. So here you can see that uh, the test is overall test got passed. It took around only 17 seconds to execute. So this is the first step. The first screen got uh, uh, entered and then after that it's saying that this is a step that it's returned. Enter your username password here. So you can see enter username password and clicking on the login button. And this login button also it is having one border over here like this this is also absolutely working fine and then what are the description the steps that we have log out your store and everything is there or not so you can check that it's highlighting your store my account my order view your order history affiliate account newsletter and the logout link <coughs> after the login is happening or not along with the header page and everything is absolutely working fine so that's why you can see that your test is overall absolutely working fine over here like that. It's just so simple to write. If you really want to add it, you can add it also. You can write any other uh, validation also. You can write it any other things that you really want to validate. You can validate that. You can validate all these links also visible or not. That also you can validate that, right? So this is something really great that you can write. Now let's do one thing. I'm going to write one more test case over here. So this is the test that I have written. Simple validate and save it. Perfect. This is absolutely tested and verified. Now, if you really want to write one more test under the same test suite, what you can do, you can click on add custom test case once again, right? So I'll do one thing after login. I want to write my logout also. So I'll say that the description is that the user is able to log out, right? So how will you log out? So after the login, we are landed on this particular page. So I simply say click on log out. That's it. So I'll say that click on logout, whatever the spelling is written, same spelling that you have to write over here. Click on logout. After clicking on logout, again, we are landing on this particular page that account is logout. So I quickly verify that it's showing you this message account logout. So I'll say, okay, fine. Check that page contains logout, account logout. And then I really want to verify this message also that you have been logged off of your account or something like that. It's now to leave the computer. So let's see this message is coming to the user or not. And then again, I'll check this particular message that check that page contains this one. Okay. And then I really want to verify that I'm able to see the login button once again or not. So I'll quickly check, check that page contains what login. 
okay so you can see the exactly same login and then i click on login so i'll say then after that click on login and when i click on login what happens when i click on login again you are back to the login page so how will you verify that this is a login page so i can verify okay fine the page contains returning customer or email address and password field or whatever you would want to write you can just simple say returning customer or not so i'll simple verify that okay check that page contains what check that page contains returning customer here like that and let's see add and run so one more scenario got added you can really want to give a label you can give a label also label is login here for example login and this is a label that i'm creating for the logout right here and then you can see the test case in progress okay so let's see what happens so the test case got started if it is getting failed it will tell you what exactly the reason of the failure but let's see is it really working or not so here it's saying that can't find the button element by the logout it means it's not able to find that element that where is logout why because logout is not displayed here you can see see what happens when you open the application first time see this is the first application page got opened and the logout is not displayed here see right so in that case what should i do see for example if you simple first time when you come over here and then this is the test that we have returned see this what is exactly the edit test case i'll come back here i say it's okay fine click on logout that is a mistake that we have done because first we have to log in and then we have to do a logout so that's why the sequential execution will happen with this particular guy user is able to log out or not and then the second test will be happen so in that case to write the independent test case what i can do is that so for example let's see these are the two tests that we have written right and then what if first test that we have written i'll just edit test case and then i'll first enter login so just quickly check that just copy these steps we can <coughs> write some reusable functions also that also we will see that under reusable rules in the upcoming chapters but right now i'm just going to copy paste these three steps and then again add it over here so now before log out first we have to log in then only you will be able to see the login functionality and the logout functionality together so now again update and the retest so let's see what's happening here okay so this is a very basic script that we are writing later on we can parameterize also we can pass the data uh, through the data set through the data provider and everything we can write it those things also we will be seeing in upcoming chapters so let's see this is working or not which is still under progress and now you can see second time this is actually clicking on the logout now you can see that enter the username password login and then after login what is happening now you can see all the test cases are absolutely working fine and then within 24 seconds absolutely got passed and then after login then it's verifying that the logout is displayed or not perfect logout is displayed and after that after logout we are verified that account login and this message is coming or not the login link is there or not is verifying those things you can check the description step else also here and then after that click on login and after clicking on login we are verifying that a returning customer or not like this so this is absolutely working fine you really want to edit your test again you can add it over here right so that's it so just write any plain script in the next chapter i'll tell you that how to customize it how to write the reusable functions because let's see after login i want to verify 10 test cases 10 different tests that i want to create and then for every test that is a common step <coughs> enter the username password and click on login so you can define this common step in some reusable rules that i'll tell you in the next chapter that how to create the reusable rules just like we create a generic function in the frameworks right in the selenium framework we create a common method login and we call that particular login method again and again same thing you can just create the reusable rules and then you can just simple call that particular rule over here and that's it okay but we will see those things in upcoming chapters so I'm giving you one simple assignment. What you can do is just simple come, on, come to this particular page, go to register and then fill this particular form. And let's see, are you able to create the register? Are you able to create an account and register an account on this page or not? That's it. And after creating this account, you just need to validate that the account got successfully created or not. That's it. Just simple write couple of test cases and then start practicing with test trigger. So that's all for this particular video. I would request please subscribe to the channel and share the test trigger videos with other manual testers in your team, your colleagues and your friends so that they can also 
have a look and then it will be great advantage for the manual testers to write the test cases manually no need to learn any automation tools and programming and technologies in that case you can just simply write the brain script and then you are good to go that's it thank you so much guys i'll see you in the next video till then take care and god bless you all